Hi there and welcome once again to my channel. We are recording today another uh, episode of the replace in the replace series. Uh, basically this one is a bit more complicated but um, it's really nice to show how far you can actually go with some of the methods because some of the methods in JavaScript I think they may be underused especially when you are at the beginning you don't know the possibilities of them and how far you can go. Um, so replace is basically a, a method on strings where you can replace something in a string and you may wonder what am I doing here with an object. Well this basically I discovered some time ago I was thinking if can I actually do something like this can I like transform the object into a string and then do some replacing and then transform it back to an object and like basically modify the object like that. So this is what we're going to show in this video. Basically, let's say you have some uh, complicated logic that you need to perform on an object uh, that you could do it uh, another way, but it would be possibly simpler to do it if you use a replace uh, with regex. Now it may not be as faster as some other uh, ones, uh, some other ways of doing it but it's definitely much shorter to write and probably not that uh, it's not that uh, uh, much slower so let's go through it in in this example what we're going to show like uh, we, we're going to say that you need some logic like uh, you, you need for all the you basically have some properties in an object and you need um, all the properties has uh, have as values numbers and you need basically to multiply by two all the numbers for which the property names start with the letter M, right? Uh, and we, we we will say that it needs to start with uh, um, an uppercase M so that we don't get uh, too complicated with the regex. Um, uh, and basically we want to only multiply by two the ones that start with M and end and end either in N or in M, uh, AM, right? So basically what I'm doing here, first I'm saying uh, names equals to JSON string if I of, of names and basically this what this doing is transforming in a, in a string, is transforming the object in a string, uh, but the way he's doing it, uh, Look, I mean, I'm consoling. Uh, I'm console. I'm doing a console log of names there, and you will see how it looks. If I do uh, this, uh, why? Uh, wait, let me save. So let's clear. And if you look at it, it's basically making the object like this. And how it's looking? It, there's some. Um, there's this uh, signs, I need to look up how these are called because I never know how these uh, signs are called in English. Like I even had problems with coming up the <laughs> with the word for a comma. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, it's gonna look like this in the string for the property and just like that for the value, right? If uh, the value is a number, okay? And what we want to do is basically first uh, find uh, find the ones that uh, the property names uh, start with M and end either in A, uh, A N or A M, and then uh, we want to basically m multiply the values of the, uh, uh, multiply the values for those properties by two, right? So first we have transformed it in a string, right? And you can see how it looks uh, the string. Right, and then we're going to do this, and what we're going to say now names equal, and we, and you have to say you can say names replace, and because a replace like I explain, I'm going to link here if you, I should have said, and probably I'm gonna link it somewhere at the beginning of the video, uh, the first video I made about the replace where I uh, explaining the basics, but basically when you do names replace is not uh, is not replacing uh, in in the is not replacing in the original string it's basically returning another string so if you want to have the original string with the uh, whatever you want replaced then you need to say something like uh, the the string equal to string replace and whatever you put in here 
and here we're doing uh, uh, replace with with a regex and a function which transforms the matches that we get and let me explain what I'm doing here basically I'm uh, I'm trying to look for a match globally right globally because we're looking globally because we don't want to find just the first match of these regex we want to find them all one by one and basically it's gonna look through them and do the replacing right if you don't put globally it will just do it for the first one that it finds so uh, what we're looking if you look here we need to look for something like this where you have like this and then here what I'm having is basically I, I when you use parentheses like this like this one and this one you're looking for a match that you're gonna be able to use uh, and this match uh, what are we saying here it needs to basically st uh, st the match should start with uh, uppercase M and then we need to have a zero or more uh, letters or digits and this represents I think letter or digits in regex and it says zero or more and then you have another group which basically we need to put it like that we, we're not actually trying to match this but we need to put it like that because here we need to say that this group the one that we're matching here should end either in an a n either in a m right so basically we're finding this match and then after this match there should be something like this and, and then uh, the dots like you see here and then after that uh, you need to uh, you're looking for another match that you can use after uh, and uh, actually I don't even think that we need to yeah I'm going to s explain I think I uh, overdid something but uh, this you, you're doing uh, another another uh, match here for basically digits because you're uh, looking for the digits after right uh, and if I console arguments here, let me uh, remove this console log and save. If you look at the arguments, basically uh, you have the arguments for the first match that it found because it's gonna find this match, basically this match and this match from here, right? And you, if, if you look here, what I'm uh, doing, I'm having the function and, and in this function that you get for replace, you you can access uh, you basically can access uh, an um, an object I think with the arguments is it an object it looks like an object but I thought it was an array but you know it's actually an object right uh, so uh, this will be weird um, so basically if you're looking this these are the arguments for the first match that it found and this is uh, and this this from here are the arguments for the second matches that you found and if you look at the arguments you have the first uh, uh, the, the first the, the like arguments of zero is this which is basically the whole match and then you have the uh, uh, is basically the whole match this one right and then you have the match for this big one like from here right you, you can look it's Marian right and then you have another thing you have this one because here we're saying a n or a m and for this one it's found n but we don't care really about that one and then you have this match which is the two and then here is basically uh, the position in the string where it finds the where it finds the match but we don't care about that uh, and then the complete uh, the complete string right here so uh, what we want to say is basically because what we're having is something like this we want to return first arguments of one because one is the first match right we want to uh, return we want to put this like they have it because they have it like this with these things right so we want to use this then we want to say arguments of one because we want to keep it like it was and then again this two dots and then we want to say arguments three which is this one multiplied by 2 and the nice thing is we don't actually have to transform this to a number first because as you can see it's a string we don't have to transform uh, it to a number because when we're multiplying by a number JavaScript will automatically change the result to uh, the, well change this to a number and multiply it by 2 because JavaScript is basically doing coercion here 
uh, JavaScript is always trying to make you happy. So if you're multiplying a string by a uh, by a number. If this is a string, it will transform this to a number, uh, but only if the string is formed only of numbers. If it's formed of numbers and letter or just letters, then the when you're trying to multiply this by two, it it will give you none, which is not a number, right? Um, so yeah, here you don't need to like transform this to a number first because uh, JavaScript will do the coercion for you, right? Uh, so again, this will happen for the first one and it will return uh, Marian with a value of uh, 2 uh, multiplied by 2 and then uh, for uh, Miriam, it will return like Miriam, it will be basically Miriam here and then 2 dots and arguments of 3 is 5, uh, 5 or 2 is going to be 10, right? So if I'm... Uh, removing this console arguments here and I'm and here basically when when at the end you would need to do something like names so we will say here names equal to na uh, to to JSON you need to transform it back to an object right JSON parse names and then you can if you console load the names Let's clear this. You can see that it has multiplied basically only uh, by two, only the uh, values for the properties that start with the letter M and end with either AN or AM. And like I was saying, I think I overcomplicated things here a bit because I think what you can do instead of matching all this, you can get rid of this because this doesn't actually change. Uh, and instead of doing a match here you can remove the match because you don't need this match right and if I delete this and I console out the arguments again actually no you do you you, you do kind of need it yeah uh, sorry, I was thinking about, about you do need it because you need to form the whole thing here, so you do need it. Uh, otherwise, I mean, you could you could basically just look for the numbers, but to make sure that everything is uh, working properly, you should do all this. But you can, you could do something uh, like this instead. Instead of looking for all this, you could just look for uh, basically something like this, where you have something like this, then you have the dots. And then you have just the digit, and then if you console log, and instead of using the arguments, you you could use uh, you could do as much maybe. Let's see. Uh, I think you may be able to use much. So um, let's console much and see uh, what we get. Uh, let's just remove this for now. And just say uh, something like one and one, right? So let's console ma match and see what we get. Uh, okay, so so we get something like this for the match, which will not work for us. We need to basically use the arguments. So let's console log arguments. Oh, but as you can see, we, we do need to, yes, we have to go back to what we had before because we actually need to check the properties that they uh, meet this, uh, that they meet this rule that we put. If we didn't need to check this and we just need to multiply by two, then that's okay. But we actually need to check uh, these rules for the property names, right? I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> so yeah, let's uh, clear this and let's just start to what we had before delete this delete this and if you do this you can see that it multiplies only the value and if you put another one that uh, doesn't meet the value again that one will not be uh, it will not be multiplied by 2 
you see it still stays 10 Johnny stays 10 uh, but if we put another one that uh, meets the uh, that meets the rules uh, let's say something like metu metu salam right something like that uh, which is not a word but <laughs> and let's say that this is 100 now if we do this you can see that it has transformed this one to 200 as well right and uh, Marian as well and Miriam as well because all all these three are meeting the rules okay so I hope you learned something from this one this is like a bit more advanced one so I do hope that you you were able to keep up with what I was explaining here and I, I do hope I made myself understood but if I kind of skip some things please uh, leave a comment uh, in the comment section and also if you want me to cover something do give me suggestions because uh, I love to cover something that you you guys would like to see covered so if uh, this video helped you please give a like and subscribe it does help with the YouTube algorithms and it helps the channel grow so yeah I'll see you next time bye bye for now